next. Um, another game by Sega. Um, probably one of the most frightening, jumpy, riveting storylines. You know, uh, amazing graphics, I think, for its time. Um, we're probably over 10 minutes way over 10 minutes so yeah, I would have split the video already uh, where was I? yeah um, it is condemned uh, saw it for the Xbox wondered if it was out on PC it was coming out on PC just later on after the Xbox very good story um, first person uh, is it a first person shooter? I don't know because you get all sorts of weapons you can just pick up like a, a scrap bit of wood with nails in a pipe off the wall um, you really have to improvise on your battle tactics um, sound the sound to it as well like they've actually got real ambient sounds like people scuffling in the background or stuff like that um, again scary really scary if you play it on your own in the dark and you don't know where the jumpy bits are me me and my best friend Martin probably seen our other videos we got the handshake uh, yeah we're playing it in daylight in his dad's old studio um, so it's daylight we're just playing this with surround sound and we just hear this noise, like we're just in the game walking, we just hear this noise. So I say, oh, go look over, I, I didn't know this was coming up, seriously. I said, go look over the, the uh, banister there, oh, you look down there, it's like in the, in the office sort of level, and uh, you look over, and there's some stairs. You might know where I'm on about if you play this game. And uh, Martin just walks over, looks over, and this, one of the bad guys just comes up, comes up over the thing and just uh, it scared the crap out of us seriously <laughs> uh, another game that maybe compares to this because they, they're almost the same game they, you know in uh, game developers they like swap in game props like you'll see the uh, Half-Life wrench in other games or uh, similar stuff like that you know um Condemned, kind of. I think they did that with uh, Fear. Whether it's the same engine, I don't know. Uh, but Fear is another scary game. Playing it on my own, in the dark, headphones. Oh, there's a bit where you're just going down the ladder and Olmo appears at the top of the ladder. You think, oh. and I was just, I was there staring at it. Once I got to the bottom of the uh, ladder, just as I turn, oh. It, uh, it's what's his name? The bad guy you're chasing. Uh, he, he's just walking towards you with this shriek, like oh, scary, really scary. Um, so condemned and fear, I recommend getting uh, two different games. Uh, similar sort of. No, they look completely. Fear is definitely a first-person shooter. Um, condemned is action role play maybe adventure game very very good uh, I'll go on to this another favourite series of mine Grand Theft Auto I have Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City and San Andreas for the PC I've played Liberty City Stories on the PSP um, and this is probably my favourite by far because there's just so much there's not a lot of stuff you can do like in San Andreas where you can go to the gym you can change well you can change clothes in this but there's a, like tattoos and stuff like that uh, so it's very limited but the amount of mods and stuff oh, multiplayer is brilliant I love playing multiplayer on this game the only w annoying thing is uh, there's this ragdoll mod I just love playing with you just jump off things and pfft, ragdoll it's great um, 
also the PC version comes with the video editor uh, which you might have seen some of my videos I've done with really brilliant brilliant idea uh, but yeah the ragdoll mod I can't get working with uh, the last update for this which was 1.0.1.0.4.0 I think it was 1.4 whatever um, so if anyone can find a fix for that it might be the uh, ASI loader is not working I don't know but uh, very good graphics auto try I think uh, they focus more on the story and then there was that advert come out for Saints Row 2 which was trying to take the mick out of it it's like why go bowling with your friends when you can blow up cars it's like why sit at home watching TV when you can do this it's like it's about the story the comedy just the fact that it's it's good you know really good uh, a soon to be trilogy um, I remember getting introduced to this game uh, by my friend Charlie haven't seen him in a while not, not, not Charlie not you Charlie Harwood uh, was uh, from the Ben Hill days in the park drinking Lambrini Ooh. I won't say anymore uh, yeah um, he said this game was rubbish I played it once I fell in love with it and uh, the sequel was just wow it was brilliant really good continued the story on uh, the third one is yet to come out uh, also it was just um, yeah yeah the third one yet to come out uh, totally looks very very different very good graphics coming out for it which is brilliant I'll tell you what it is it is of course whoop, Max Payne uh, the film with Mark Wahlberg was pretty good I did like it uh, they didn't follow the story as well as I thought they should um, like there's no Vlad or uh, Inner Circle involved Although at the end of the credits, you know, they show a bit extra, and um, Mona kind of says, "Look, we need to get rid of uh, Nicole Horn, which is obviously from the game, and she's the actual boss at the end of the first one. The second one is just oh, it's fantastic, brilliant piece of art, introducing ragdoll physics to the to the well, just loads of physics in general, uh, boxes, explosing explosives." Uh, Weapons detail. Uh, it was. It's really a, a a noir love story, a film noir love story, as it says there. Um, and I reckon Frank Miller should have made the film for Max Payne. It would have been. It's just that 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 sort of film, you know. It should be really noir, dark noir film. Uh, so I recommend getting. The Max Payne trilogy to be. Uh, hopefully, it comes out on the PC, the third one. So, uh, just love these games. Brilliant. Really brilliant. Again, loads of great mods come out from like the Matrix mod. It was like, I mean, this game was based around bullet time, you know. It was the Matrix mod, just almost, almost completed it, but it was already complete with Sam Lake, who was. Sam Lake was the original, he was the sc uh, screenwriter. And also, uh, they used his face for the original Max Payne. They then used James. Uh, oh, it was James McCaffrey from Viper, if you know the American TV series. Uh, it does the voice of Max Payne. Uh, they, I don't see why they, they. He was in the film with Mark Wahlberg. He'd done a little cameo at the end, um, which was cool. Uh, I've forgotten the the model character they used.